Hi friends, welcome. Today we're gonna to focus on something called the loving kindness meditation. So this is a meditation to help elicit compassion and love for not only yourself, but also the world around you. And this one specifically is about planting seeds of desire and intention for the upcoming spring season. So let's begin by just coming into either a comfortable seat or a position of your choice. If you prefer to lay on your back, also great. Just try not to fall asleep. Let's close down your eyes. And just let your hands rest wherever they feel natural. Let there be a soft tuck of your chin growing through the back of the crown of your head and letting go of any wrinkles or tension you hold in your neck and shoulders. Beginning to bring your attention to your breath. Notice where your breath lives in your body, where it begins and ends. Maybe your breath begins in your chest, your throat, or even higher into the head. Maybe your breath lives a bit lower in the belly or the rib cage. Try not to judge the location, the texture, the intensity of your breath, but instead just bring your awareness to it and continue to breathe with depth, with integrity. Begin to push your breath deeper into the depths of your belly. You'll notice that your belly button starts to push towards the center of the room. That breath starts to travel up into the rib cage and the ribs expand out to the sides of your mat. Continuing up the spine, touching each vertebrae as it reaches the crown of your head. And as you exhale, take that same journey down the body. Feeling as your shoulders soften, your ribs pull in, and your belly deflates. Start to find equanimity and balance between your inhales and exhales. Let the length, the intensity, the texture of your inhale match that of your exhale. Notice any places in the body where the breath becomes stagnant or agitated and see if you can send your breath into those areas, giving life to the darkest places in the body. Throughout our meditation today, if you feel inclined to move, I encourage you to take note of the place in the body or the mind that wants to move and instead do nothing about it. Bask in the frequency of your breath and let little to no distractions impact the benefits of this practice. If you begin to notice your mind drifting away Say to yourself softly, inhale, I'm breathing in, exhale, I'm breathing out. This will bring your attention back to the present moment and allow you to find a sense of equanimity and balance. Now begin to imagine yourself standing in a once beautiful garden. This garden has been overgrown with weeds. The garden representing the mind. 
and each weed representing a piece of the self. A circumstance, a situation, a love, a betrayal, a peace, or a trauma. Now pick a corner of the garden where the weeds feel the most dense. Walk over to that corner and begin to weed. Notice the soil. Is it dry? Is it wet? Does it feel rich or depleted? Does it come up in clumps or does it flow through your fingers like sand? As you uncover the expansive beauty beneath the weeds, be intentional. You aren't plucking quickly in an effort to get the most work done in a single day. You take your time, being sure to pluck each weed down to its roots, all in an effort to make space in the garden for new growth. And as each weed detaches from the deepest bits of the ground, you say thank you. Thank you for the lessons that you've taught me of patience and discipline. Thank you for the hurt that you've brought me as it's made me stronger. Thank you for the love that you continue to pour out for me, despite my flaws, despite my proclivities. For when we show compassion to our pain, we are able to transcend the bounds of the mind, entering into our purest form that which is formless. From this place, the pure state, begin to imagine yourself standing in your corner of the garden. This corner is no longer ridden with weeds. No longer a desert of what was, but instead a fortress of what could be. No longer a reflection of the past, but instead a window into the future. With a beautifully empty garden, you have the opportunity to lay the foundation for what's to come. To plant seeds that you wish you had all along. So what will it be? What will you plant? What seeds will you sow? What harvest will you reap? Maybe you plant seeds of compassion, of forgiveness, of release, 
and healing. Maybe you plant seeds for yourself. And maybe you plant seeds for others. Because you know deep down that you cannot reap the benefits of your garden on your own. It takes community to catalyze change. Once you've decided which seeds will be the first to grow within this new space, you begin to dig a small hole in the soil. You nestle the seed gently into its new home and cover it with fresh, dark ground. Repeating this process for as many rows as you have available. Once you're finished, you take a step back to bask in all of your hard work. And just as you do, it begins to rain. A blissful, soft rain kisses the soil and with its nourishment, the seeds begin to germinate slowly but surely becoming little green sprouts that peek up from the dark, fresh ground. You leave the garden that day with a smile on your face. You feel accomplished and at one with yourself. but you know that the seeds won't grow on their own. You will continue to visit this garden, watering and watching as your hard work takes shape and knowing that when you're ready, you can pick another corner of this garden and do just as you did today. As this imagery begins to fade, Start to bring your attention back to your breath. Become aware of the sights, the smells, the sounds all around you. Become aware of the ground beneath you and how it feels to push your skin against the floor. Become aware of the breath coming into the nostrils. The cool sensation that it elicits as it enters the body. Bringing yourself back to the present moment. And when and if you're ready, slowly beginning to blink your eyes open. And taking three deep breaths to allow this practice to embed into the fabric of our mind. Ah. Uh.
our body. and our soul. Thank you for joining me today in this loving kindness meditation. Please leave in the comments any requests that you have for future meditations. Thank you and namaste.